Are you drinking the fats into your body? Fat comes disguised in the liquids you drink, which are loaded with sugar and HFCS and calories. Are you pouring on the pounds? Don't drink yourself fat. Let's look at the facts. Are you still drinking carbonated soda? It's like smoking. You know it's bad for your health, but you still do it. Soda is filled with sugar and empty calories unless you drink diet. I said empty calories. Carbonated drinks have high levels of phosphoric acid and carbonated acid. Elevated acidic levels in our bodies can cause an imbalance of calcium in your blood and disturb your blood's pH. Excessive gas giving you a feeling of abdominal fullness and bloating. The more carbonated soda you drink, the more calcium your body needs. Unless you supply your body with calcium from other sources, the body will take it from your bone mass and teeth and may cause premature loss of those very teeth. What's wrong with juicing? Look at this chart. These are no sugar added versions of your regular juices. While you look at the chart on the left, it says Coca-Cola 12 ounce can is 145 calories, while an orange juice 12 ounces is 165, apple juice 165, cherry juice 210, and grape juice 240. Juice is a high sugar because it is the lower version of its produce sources. You're taking out the main ingredients and only keeping the sugar. Juicing generally removes the fiber and skin of fruits and vegetables which contain the major benefits of total nutrients. Fiber which you lose in juicing slows down the absorption and digestion of the juices sugars. Eating the whole fruit has about a third of the calories of the same juice and has all the fiber, vitamins, antioxidants without the sugar shock. That large orange juice in the morning could be adding the extra pounds you're exercising to lose during the day. What's wrong with high fructose corn syrup? You know, somebody wrote in and said, uh, why are you against uh, biochemicals? Well, here's the reason. Our bodies do not treat it like glucose. Insulin is released when we eat glucose, and this sends a message to our brain that we are full. But fructose does not cause the release of insulin, and this may lead to overeating. Also, Fat is produced more easily with fructose than with glucose, and most of the fructose in our diets comes from sweetened beverages. If you drink or eat sugar or HFCS, you will gain more weight and have increased risk of heart disease. Drink Coke, get fat. Consumer advocacy groups consider sucralose, Splendor, to be the only safe artificial sweetener. Remember that the next time you're in a restaurant. Want or need a carbonated drink? Go for soda water without the cola, known as sparkling water or seltzer. Some fast food self-serve drink areas have a button label, soda water, that dispenses carbonated water without the sugary cola. Avoid artificial sweeteners because research has shown that they are linked to weight gain because the sweetness triggers hunger. Some drinks use no sweetener and instead let the real fruit ingredients do the job. Popular brands include States, R.W. Newton Fruit Spritzers, Santa Cruz Organic Sodas, Izzy, Wanu Beverages, and my personal favorite, Arizona Diet Green Tea. It tastes great and it's very inexpensive. Calories from drinks can really add up. Look at this chart. A morning coffee, medium cafe latte, 16 ounce, made with whole milk, would be 265 calories. A small cafe latte, on the other hand, 12 ounces, made with fat-free milk, is only 125 calories. Now, bear in mind, this is not any other things that you're eating in the morning. This is just what you're drinking. Lunchtime carb combo meal. 20-ounce bottle of non-diet cola with your lunch, 227 calories. Bottle of water or diet soda, zero calories. Afternoon break, sweetened lemon iced tea from the vending machine, 16 ounce, 180 calories. Sparkling water with natural lemon flavor, non-sweetened, zero calories. At dinner time, 
A glass of non-diet ginger ale with your meal, 12 ounces, 124 calories. Water with a slice of lemon or lime or seltzer with water with a splash of 100% fruit juice, 30 calories. Now look at the total beverage calories. This is 796 calories without touching a piece of food, just what you're drinking. While if you reduce the size and change to diet and water and uh, 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 natural juices in your drink, uh, small amounts, is 125 to 155 calories. Wow, who would have thought it? You're drinking yourself fat. Review this list to see how many calories you are typically taking in from sugar and high fructose corn syrup. Look at the top one. Fruit punch, 12 ounce, 192 calories, while a 20 ounce will, will give you 320 calories. 100% apple juice, 192 calories for 12 ounces, but 300 calories for 20 ounces. And it goes on and on and on. Now you go back down to unsweetened iced tea is two, two calories, while in a 20 ounce is three calories. A diet soda with no sugar is zero calories in either a 12 or a 20 ounce. Carbonated water, unsweetened, in a 12 or 20 ounce, no calories. Water, 12 ounce, 20 ounce, 30 ounce, 40 ounce, zero calories. So bear in mind, you may be drinking yourself fat. Now let's look at milk. Milk contains vitamins and other nutrients that contribute to good health, but it also contains calories. Choosing low fat or fat-free milk is a good way to reduce your calorie intake and still get the nutrients that make that milk contains. Learn to read nutrition facts labels carefully. This is crucial because one of the things you're trying to do in, in gaining and losing weight is to change your lifestyle. And one of the lifestyle changes is to become a reader of labels. Be aware that nutrition facts labels on beverages containers may give the calories for only part of the contents. The example below shows the label on a 20 ounce bottle. As you can see, it lists the number of calories in an 8 ounce serving, 100 calories, even though the bottle contains 20 ounces or 2.5 servings. To figure out how many calories are in the whole bottle, you need to multiply the number of calories in one serving by the number of servings in the bottle, 100 times 2.5. You can see that the contents of the entire bottle actually contain 250 calories, even though the label reads a serving only contains 100 calories. This shows you that you need to look closely at the serving size when comparing the calorie content of different beverages. The more you know, the less you will put on your body. Now sugar, by any other name, how to tell whether your drink is sweetened. You know, they cover the, 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 the ingredients up with different chemical names, but here's the basic ones. Sweeteners that add calories to a beverage go by many different names and not always obvious to anyone looking at the ingredients list. Some common caloric sweeteners are listed below. If they appear in the ingredients list of your favorite beverage, you are drinking a sugar-sweetened beverage. Now, before you look at that list, look at that bottle uh, ingredients. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, phosphoric acid, natural flavors, caffeine. What this is telling you is the major uh, ingredient is carbonated water, but the second major ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. You have to look out for that. And here on the list, the first one on the list, high fructose corn syrup, an artificially created sweetener. Fructose. Fruit juice concentrates, honey, sugar, syrup, corn syrup, fructose, and dextrose. You know, you can either get your sweetness from a farmer or you can get it from a chemist. It's your choice. Better beverage choices made easy. Now that you know how much difference a drink can make, here are some ways to make smart beverage choices. Choose water diet or low calorie beverages instead of sugar sweetened beverages. For a quick, easy and inexpensive thirst quencher, carry a water bottle and refill it throughout the day. 
Don't stock the fridge with sugar-sweetened beverages. Instead, keep a jug or bottles of cold water in the fridge. Serve water with meals. And after meals, be sure to have hot tea with uh, lemon or honey. And it'll do yourself a well of good because you, you uh, emulsify the fats in your intestines with hot water. Make water more exciting by adding slices of lemon, lime, cucumber, or watermelon, or drink sparkling water. Add a splash of 100% juice to plain sparkling water for a refreshing, low-calorie drink. When you do opt for a sugar-sweetened beverage, go for the small size. Get that hunger urge over with. Some companies are now selling 8-ounce cans and bottles of soda, which contain about 100 calories. Do you know that the original Coca-Cola was only 8 ounces? Be a role model for your friends and family by choosing healthy, low-calorie beverages. Here's another tidbit of information. Do you know if you buy a Coca-Cola that's produced in Mexico or Canada, it's made with real sugar, not high fructose corn syrup? So keep your eyes open, watch out for yourself, think smart, drink wisely, and keep the fat from getting into your body through your beverages. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for listening. Please share with all your friends all this great information. See you on the next video. Please review, rate, and subscribe. Go to our website for the free Joan Boss meal replacement recipe. Thanks again. This has been very interesting information. Thanks for watching, and please start watching out for the high fructose corn syrup in your life and diet. Please subscribe, rate, review, and tell all your friends about what you've learned here. Share this information. Also, go to our website, joanbars.com or the saturdaymorningdiet.com to get our recipe, our free recipe, for the meal replacement bars to help you lose the weight and keep it off. Again, thanks for watching. We appreciate you stopping by. Please share with your friends and embed our videos on your site. Thank you.